Howdy everybody, Argon Matrix here, welcome to episode 117, oh god, have I lost track? No, it's 117, <laughs> of the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Uh, I kind of want to do some Lost Runs today, it's been a while since we've done any like traditional Lost Runs, I know we did a Greed Mode Lost video not too long ago, but we gotta kind of face the music here and looking at these uh, post-it notes that most of what we have to do still like relies on the Lost right now, so let's try and uh, see what we can get done today. If anything, most of the time you should not expect to get anything done as lost. Zua Wittixun. That's how I pronounce that. Uh, Z double O A Y T X one is our first seed. So standard business as usual is the lost. We will play until uh, until 30 minutes, and then whatever run we're at on the 30th minute will be the run that we stick with to the end. Come hell or high water. Let's see what our first item here is. We got Mongo Baby. Not the most classic. Hey, Minu, what are you doing back there? Not the most classic run winning item as the lost, I would say, but, you know, it's gonna help out. She was just, I had to deal with her. She was hanging out in the wires behind the computer. Didn't really, really didn't want her, like, pulling out my headphones or anything mid recording. She's typically not that kind of cat. She's pretty chill, which, uh, I, I guess she probably should be. She, it's not like she's a kitten anymore. She's, like, God, how old is she now? I'm not actually sure. I think she's like 12 or so, which is pretty good for cats. And still ripe and kicking as far as I'm concerned. Both of our pets are actually very old. My cat is like 12 or so. My dog is around 15. So, okay, well, I looked sideways at my cat and that was enough to screw me over, I guess. That's fine, that's fine. That's what we expect is lost. There's our seed. Keep on trying here. I guess I should... I should focus more on the game, like, right off the bat here, instead of talking about tangents about my pets. Because, like, I'm playing as the Lost right now, so focus is kind of uh, imperative here. If you're ever going to talk about the game in your commentary, do it on the Lost episode, like, really. At least then you have an excuse. It's like, oh, I would have died if I hadn't been paying attention, and realistically, that's probably true. So Wrath is not super fun here, but he will hopefully give us some form of a good item. I think he can give us either Mr. Boom or Mr. Mega. Uh, or just like a couple bombs, I guess that's fine too. We didn't have that many right off the bat here. Should be able to blow up a ton of Tinter Rocks now, even though they're not that valuable as the Lost. They're not as valuable, I should say. That's a lot of money, though. Actually makes our shop worthwhile if we can find another key to access it, so... I'd like to do that at some point. First, I have to deal with, uh, with this horde, though, so... Let's, uh, face, face that before anything else. I almost said face the music again, but I have a bad habit of, like, sticking... Uh, I have, like, a weird, like, daily phrase type thing. It's like, I, I, like, think of a phrase that I haven't heard in a long time, like, face the music. And then I try to use it throughout the day. I don't, I don't think I do it consciously, I just sort of do it subconsciously. But that's why in some time, sometimes in a video you'll hear me use like this one random phrase. But then I'll use it again later in the same video, or like in a in a video that's recorded on the same day or something. And it's just, it's weird, man. My brain works in strange patterns. You do have to wonder what face the music actually really means though. Where that comes from, that phrase. I mean, you don't have to wonder, it's just something I wonder about. That penny was on fire, man, for a long ass time. It was kind of metal. It's like you could make a you could make a logo out of that. Just a big old flaming penny. I'm sure that already exists out there somewhere. I could go Google flaming penny right now and get some badass clip art. I know. Did manage to find our item room here finally, as the last room on this floor, barring the boss room and secret rooms, I guess. Which maybe I should be looking for secret rooms. I have enough bombs. Plus, secret rooms can be extremely valuable. Almost enough to, like, afford two items from the shop, which is crazy to me. If we have money in our secret room, we actually will be able to afford two items from the shop. If there are two items that are worth taking, that is. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I think the secret room is probably, like, here-ish. Seems like the most appropriate spot. Uh, we did actually get quite a bit of money. Fucking 36 cents on the first floor. This is actually ludicrous. And I ain't talking about the wrapper. Okay, we got Tarot Cloth, which I will definitely take. Boomerang is not worth taking, I would say. Uh, Death, huh? That's actually pretty good with Tarot Cloth, I think. 
then let's buy this card just to see the magician i guess i'll use the magician on our boss fight here and then uh and then come back for death <laughs> come with me if you want to die said no one ever uh, this is probably our second secret room here so check it out really quick uh, Locust of Conquest is totally fine. I forget what the Conquest flies actually do, but, oh, we get four of them. Maybe that's what they do. Maybe there's just, like, a whole bunch of them this one, because normally you only get one of the Locusts, but apparently we got four off of that. Or maybe it's just because it's a boss fight or something? I don't know. I have yet to internalize... Wow, that was a great dodge right there. That's a A-plus dodging. I have yet to internalize how the Locusts all actually work. There's our seed. Keep on going here. Man, that was a good run, too. Oh. Well, we'll never know if that run was going to be good. Go play the seed and find out, maybe. But, oh, man, what's wrong with me today? Uh, there's our seed. At the very least, I should be, like, maybe just donating a bunch of money on these runs. That way, these lost runs are not going to be in vain. Like, I had, like, 20 cents to donate on that one run that I just lost. Well, not the one I just lost. Fuck it. <laughs> Oh, if I can win with the Lost and Soy Milk, I'm a golden god. Not really, I'm sure people have done much worse. Well... Let's just see how high of a streak, how high of a losing streak we can get. How low of a losing streak I get, I guess would be the more appropriate term. That's what I get for taking Soy Milk, I guess. That's what I get for trying to have some gosh darn fun! Oh, here we go. I'm ready for one of these spiders to just sideswipe me blindside me over here. Just hang out in the corners. Yeah, the spiders are honestly like the worst fucking enemy in this game. The only thing that would make them any worse is if they could fly. But we have flies for that. They're basically flying spiders, except they don't move quite as erratically. Thank God. And I said erratically, not erotically. I don't have a thing for flies. Is that even... That's gotta be a thing, like, with how many people there are in the world. There's gotta be someone out there who has, a. Uh, who has the hots for flies, somehow. Well, I don't understand it, but more power to you, I guess. If you if you happen to be watching this video, the one person out there, wouldn't that be hilarious? There's probably more than one person, but... We got a luck upgrade with Lucky Toe here. Totally fine by me. Again, looks like we're gonna not find our item room until the near end of the floor here. But that is fine, too. As long as our item is some good quality stuff. We haven't had that many uh, that many great starting items as lost. I feel like the best one we've had so far is probably Scorpio. Which was good, don't get me wrong. That's a, that's a run that probably should have gone further than it did. However, I mean, realistically, all these runs probably should have gone further than they have. I've just been playing a little bit sloppily. However, the quality of the items has not uh, helped that any. We got Common Cold, which is basically a worse version of, um, of Scorpio, so I guess this is our second chance, in a way. It's like, hey, you didn't take the better poison item, so here, have a worse one and win with that instead. You know what? I will, game. I'll prove you wrong. I'll show you. I'll show everybody. Hey, we upgraded. <laughs> got two bombs for the price, for the cost of one. And we got the Widow here, and it's not that bad. Like, I don't know... Like, is Common Cold just objectively worse than Scorpio? Or does, like, the poison damage last longer with Common Cold? Or does it have some secondary effects that I'm not privy to? Like, can Common Cold spawn Black Hearts kind of like Serpent's Kiss? But then is Common Cold just a worse version of Serpent's Kiss at that point? It's like... There's so many poison items, I guess, in the game now that it's, like, hard to... Uh, Hard to know which one's best and which one's worst. I think Common Cold is probably the worst. Unless we're counting Pinky Eye, which I guess we could, but it's a trinket, so. There we go. Finally managed to get through a boss fight for once, and we only got rotten meat. I fought the Widow, and all I got was this lousy meat. Ew. Uh, probably not worth it. I mean, it could be worth it. One of those could teleport us to a deal. But, on the off chance that they don't, I don't want to have to fight, like, two bosses with basically base damage. I mean, that's that's not giving... Like, Common Cold may be bad-ish, but it's saying that it's base damage still is giving it not enough credit, I would say. 
It's a mid-tier item, I would say. You know, it's up there with the Robo Baby 2.0s of the world. We got the Stars card. Fuck it, I'm using it. I want to see my next item here. Book of Sin is fine. It'll get us well set for the future, hopefully. Give us an Empress card to work with. That's awesome. Give us give a lot of consumable game. That is uh, pretty sweet. So that when we actually do get our powerful items and start kicking this run off, then we'll be uh, we'll be well equipped to handle it. We'll have all the keys we need to access all the item rooms and everything. And all the king's horses and all the king's men rode off with the loss together again. Okay, we got a uh, charged baby for seven cents. Here. It's probably worth taking. Like I said, Book of Sin will be helping us out here, so charged baby can only help make that process faster, right? In theory. All right, let's not blow this one up. Oh, good, double monstro on a small room. <laughs> That's like, the, uh, yeah, that's, who didn't see that one coming, basically. God, dude. I'm getting mad. It's like that fake kind of mad, though. That's not really mad. It's just like incredulous mad. It's like I can't believe that I'm sucking this bad at this game that I've played for like 1,300 hours. Yep, that's about par for the course today, apparently. You know what? It's first seed. Just in case this happens to be the one that's going to go all the way. Um, it's all in the mindset. I've been thinking very negatively for the past couple runs about, like, oh, man, I'm playing so terribly today. What is wrong with me? And I just keep, I just keep dying. And if you think about it that way, it's like, yeah, you're just going to keep dying even more. So why don't you turn that frown upside down, buddy, and, you know, start playing like you know you can. You don't need, like, Holy Mantle, Nine Lives. You don't need the fucking gifts from on high. Don't need, like, fucking Tech X or any of that nonsense. J you know what? Don't even take any items on this run. Win with the Lost as on base damage. Bag Lunch? That's a great trinket, you know? It'll give us a... It'll, it has a chance to give us an HP upgrade when we get hit. Both of which are very pertinent to our circumstances. See, that's that pessimism creeping in again, though, so... Just be glad you have a trinket at all, realistically. I mean, I c there, there could be the situation where we come across some way to reroll consumables, like a 2 or a 3 room, or a d20 situation. Then we'll have a trinket to reroll. That's one extra consumable that could turn into the consumable we need, like the one key that we might need for the item room on that floor or something. There's a whole myriad of possibilities, and I can't wait to find out what they are. Hey, you know what? We may, we may have died, but that proves to me that luck is on my side, because bag lunch fucking worked, buddy. <laughs> it was beautiful. I hope one of those enemies in that room has a great time with that HP upgrade. Uh, 6VFE, 3AM. That's how I'm feeling right now. 3AM. These guys can jump way too far. I think they need a slight nerf to make them just stand still while I shoot them. There's that pessimism again, man. Pessimism is a very tough thing to beat a lot of the time. For me, anyway, I don't know. Most of the time, I can stay relatively optimistic, but once I become pessimistic or salty, even... Ooh, did he use the S word? I think he did. Um, Once that, once that strikes, it's hard to break away from it, you know? Alright, what do we got for our item here? We got Crystal Ball, which is a pretty solid spacebar item. Could give us some good cards here. As well as mapping. Temperance is not the card for me today. Thank you very much. There is an Isaac's bedroom over there, but I need two bombs to access it, and I don't think that's that valuable for me anyway. So let's not worry about it so much. I'd rather just use one bomb and access that uh, secret room if that's something I could maybe do. The game feels like giving me a bomb. But you know what? The game's given me plenty of bombs over the past like 10 runs, and I've just squandered it all, so. I guess that's probably on me. Let's go ahead and High Priestess this asshole. Get our uh, Latch Key, Luck Upgrade, and some keys for the next floor, which is actually pretty awesome, because it'll let us get our uh, item room and shop. If we want our shop, that is. We'll obviously want our item room. Wouldn't it be just the fucking pits? If, uh... P the pits or the tits? Who knows? It depends on what how this goes. But if, like, this would be the run, 
that we come across an item room that does not contain an item, because those exist. They're out there. They're rare, but they exist. Sometimes you just get, like, a card and some enemies, and it's really weird. And, yeah, something's wrong. That's exactly what I think when I see that room. Game's reading my mind. I have read your mind, and I seem to be struck by you the way you think of poo. And... Okay, <laughs> never mind. At least one person out there watching this was thinking of poo right then, and it really freaked them out. Trust me, I'm a doctor. I mean, you would be, you could be forgiven for thinking of poo while watching a Binding of Isaac video. I mean, look what we're doing right now. We're spending, like, an eon just fucking shooting this golden poop for money. Okay, so an eternal heart there is worthless for me. I'm gonna keep this strength card for the boss. That's a something's wrong pill, that's right. And let's, uh... Head on up here. I just want to charge on my crystal balls. That's so much to ask. At least he gave me a bomb, though. What's in here? Mm, if I get a teleport card or something, that might end up being worth it. But for now, I'm going to forego that. I also am going to forego that double key room. Because if I if I use both of those and then I don't get a key out of that room then it's I'm going to be having a bad time because I want to access both my shop and my item room on this floor. And I'd have to choose if I only have one key after doing that room, so... Let's not worry about that. Let's see, wait to see if we can find another key and then uh, then this whole argument is moot. Oh god. <laughs> Almost just walked right into that guy. That would have been a little on the embarrassing side. Although, can it really get any more embarrassing than what's already happened on this video? I think not. I've had like at least two or three runs where I've died on the second room, so we're doing pretty well here, I'd say. I was a little risky because I like walked right towards him as he was dying, and I was I was banking on the fact that I would kill him before before I walked right into him, but uh, hey, it paid off, you know. Oh my god. Alright, well, before you spend any of this money on the donation machine here as uh, as sort of penance, I guess, make sure you go to the shop first. Man, and I thought like 36 cents on that one floor on a previous run was, uh, was good. This is 39 cents. Granted, like, between two floors, but still very, very good for this early in the game. What do we got in here? We got technology. Okay. I could make this a technology run. I'm fine with that. It's piercing tears, you know. It's pretty interesting. I'm not... I don't know. I feel like technology is often a DPS downgrade. So that it might be a little touch and go for a while here. I'll definitely take Mr. Mega, though. And blow all these assholes up. I look like the Grey Bomber. Look at me. That's a challenge they should do. Just, uh, the blue bomb- Oh god, don't push me into the fucking fires! Oh. The challenge they sh that someone should make is the gray bombers. Just, it's the exact same as the blue bomber challenge, except with the lost instead of blue baby. It would be actually, like, really hard. <laughs> Alright, so we definitely want the compass. The, uh, potato peeler is obviously worthless. I'm gonna go ahead and blow that up. Um, I think I'm gonna buy a key. I'll check this out as well. It's a Starth card. It's a Tharth card. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna actually use this, and I'm gonna go ahead and donate uh, as much as I can here now. Because I don't trust myself on this run. Given my track record in this video so far. Almost up to 700. That would have been cool, but that's alright. I'm gonna take this Stars card, and I'm gonna go to that boss trap room and see if I can get something good out of it. Because now that I do have a teleport card, I can actually make some use out of this. Let's see what we got here. Alright, uh, just... I, I should have grabbed the key, but I think I can still, like, like the key and the penny, obviously. But I think I can still go back and grab them, even though, uh, I didn't fight the room. I don't think picking up the consumables on their own will be enough to trigger the room again. So I think we'll be okay. We got my strength card, got my crystal ball all charged and ready to go. Not that I'm gonna need it for the boss fight, that would be a little weird. Just got to charge for the next floor. Grab these. 
and head on to fight the boss, I guess. It'll be our first deal with the devil in this video, so that's pretty exciting. Because those are always the... That's always the sort of seam you want to tear with uh, with the Lost, obviously. Let's check here for a second secret room. Mm, man, I don't know where else it could be. I'm going to check around really quick, though, just because I'd like to press every advantage that I can. Maybe here? Try and get that Tinted Rock as well. We got the Tinted Rock, at least. Try one more. Alright, well... Who knows, then? Who knows? I don't think Crystal, ba Crystal Ball reveals second secret room locations either, so that's not really worth it. So we're fighting Monstro. Monstro has been the cause of multiple deaths throughout this video, so I'm not super happy to see him again. But thankfully, it's only one Monstro this time. Not two little asshole red Monstros in a small fucking room. Just a regular goddamn boss fight. No strings attached. How often do you see that anymore these days? Alright. Got our deal with the devil going here. We also have Polydactyly, which is pretty sweet. Gives us a question mark pill. We'll maybe try that in a second. Oh good, it's Krampus! My fucking favorite! I love fighting Krampus. With literally, like, no benefits to my name. What's... Yeah. Oh, you're a real charmer today, game. I thought we were playing nice. I thought we were finally getting into a groove on that run. I was starting to feel it. I was getting in the mood. I was like, yeah, man, just put all those other runs in the past. This is the one where you where you make a name for yourself. And then you give me Krampus on my first deal with the devil. Like, Krampus plus, like, four red fire shooting at me from the corners. And it's like, <laughs> I can't take this anymore. Okay, well... Just take a quick breather, you know. We're getting close to that 30 minute time frame. Not that I'm counting the minutes or anything. No. Like, I don't know. Maybe this is getting ridiculous at this point. Just like, not even just this video, but me playing as the Lost in general. I know I've had a, uh, like early on, like the first Lost video I did, I had some pretty immaculate luck. And it was a great thing, man. It was a good time. But I should per perhaps be waiting to, uh until I actually get the upgraded version of the Lost, for lack of a better term. Uh, I should maybe be waiting for that until I do any more of these Lost runs. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section, because this, uh, it's fun to play, and it's fun to talk to you guys, and it's a little silly, just how these videos go sometimes. But I can imagine it might get tedious to watch a little bit, and really my number one concern on uh, any of these videos is your entertainment, so. Let me know how you'd like to proceed in the future here. If you want to see more of these Lost videos, fine by me. I'm happy to grind this out, you know. We got the Game Kid, which is actually pretty sweet. We also have the Chariot, which is just a consumable version of the Game Kid. I'm fine by that. Fine with that. As the Lost, it's actually pretty, uh, pretty appreciated. Let's check here for a secret room, because we might as well blow up that Tinted Rock anyway. No such luck, but we did get a Spirit Heart for all of that's worth, which is... You let me do the math on that one. I think zero is a uh, is the what that's worth. Got a little horn. Just gonna go ahead and try this out. Be careful you're not standing like right next to a bomb when that ends. Wait for this asshole to stop doing his thing. Then we'll go ahead and game kid. Cause that was a terrible boss to even like attempt to fight. Got belly button. Okay. Uh, we got locust of wrath, which I think that's like. The one you really want to stay away from, I'm actually going to drop it here because the f those are the flies that explode on contact, and the explosions can hurt you. So, unless you have immunity explosions, that's really not something you want to be taken as the Lost, or any character, really, unless you're actually, like, really strong. But if you are really strong, chances are Locust of Wrath is not going to be your trinket of choice anyway, so. Unless you have, like, no other trinkets to choose from. Well, no other trinkets, that's a little absurd. It's not like, oh! <laughs> it's not like Lo Locust of Wrath is the worst trinket in the game or anything. Not by a fucking long shot. I'm always excited to see how, uh, how many losts, how many lost runs that I've lost throughout the video. Like, because at the end of the video, you see the negative win streak, right? And that kind of gives you an indication of how many times you've died as the lost in recent memory. Most of the time it's like it hovers like around the six or seven 
points in these videos. I feel like we're gonna get a, we're gonna break that record for this one here. Yep. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go for gold. You know, just commit to it now. You know, if the item's not worth it, then uh, then just kill yourself. Really, it's my slogan. And also, if the glove does not fit, you must acquit. Or is it if the glove does fit, you must acquit? Damn you, Johnny Cochran. And your infamous sayings. That is Johnny Cochran, right? This is Johnny Cochranism. I should know. I live in Cochran. <laughs> and I think I have a friend named Johnny. I mean, he just goes by John, but... <laughs> Who goes by Johnny out there? I wonder. It takes like a special kind of person. Not this isn't an insulting anyone who may like go frequently by the name Johnny out there. It just takes like a like a certain kind of personality, I think, to want to go by Johnny instead of John or Jonathan or anything like that. It's like, hey yo Johnny! It's got that very sort of a uh, 70s dude ring to it, you know. Maybe that's just me, maybe I'm being stereotypical. In fact, I most definitely am, but it's just I can't help it, man. It's just been brewed into me through this culture. All right, item room. This maybe end up being like the last run that we end up partaking in today. So the leech is not the best item that we've had, but it's not the worst. Look on the bright side of life, man. You can hang it over the rocks and just let the leech do all your dirty work, and it'll only take about a thousand years to kill every enemy. I just wanted to see how long that would actually take. It's not like I'm going to actually do that. Especially because it won't really work on flying enemies like this. I mean, the leech can hit flying enemies. It's just so the flying enemies can also hit me. So hanging out over a rock is really not going to be that helpful, is it? I don't trust it, man. I could just run for the door, but one of these fires is going to unleash a rogue fury upon me. And there is no fi there is no uh, fury like a fire scorned. I'll tell you that much. All right, try to get these guys all clustered up. We're regaining health like a fucking madman thanks to the leech, which is uh, it's great. It'd be great if I could see that health in some capacity, but no such luck. Wouldn't it be great if instead of getting HP upgrades, we could just get like attack flies or something? I wonder if there's a. Uh, there's room for a character like that in this game at any point. And that, kids, is what they call foreshadowing. At any rate. If you don't know, like, all the characters in this game, that probably didn't make sense to you. Even if you do know all the characters in the game, that may not have made much sense, what I just said, but... Ooh, it's a magic mushroom. I'm totally fine with that. That's, like, by far the best item we've gotten in this entire video, I'm pretty sure. Which is... I mean, it's not saying that much. We've gotten some good items throughout this, uh, throughout this series of runs so far, but... I feel like... Magic Mush isn't the... Bye. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that anymore, because... Locusts of Wrath, I feel like the speed... Ah! <sighs> I almost just annihilated myself there. Ooh, give me a second to catch my breath. I'll definitely take a fragmented card, give me two secret rooms per floor. But yeah, in that previous run, I feel like the spirit of Locust of Wrath was what killed me, because I was totally talking about that, and then it's like, oh, you're dead now, sorry. Didn't want to take this beautiful, beautiful trinket? Well, sucks to be you. Well, sucks to be you now, game. I've got an even better trinket than Locust of Wrath. You never know how valuable those secret rooms are really going to be. You can get a one-up in there or something. That would make my day. Go ahead, make my day. I feel like I was sitting like right on top of a neutral fly for like a couple seconds at the start of that room. Uh, not that that's any like anything to really worry about. Obviously, just I just it just seems odd that I may have spawned on top of a neutral fly there. I may not have as well. It just seemed like it was like right there as I entered the room. But it's not like neutral flies really do anything to harm you anyway. Unless they, like, you let them sit around for too long, then they, I think they become, like, fly turrets, so keep that in mind. Uh, so we'll bomb here to hopefully find ourselves a black market, because that'd be pretty sweet. No, instead we got a little larva, which is not as good as, uh, 
Oh wait, oh this is not this isn't the run with belly button. I was thinking of a different run. There's been so many in recent memory that it's hard to keep track of them all, man. These spiders give me the heebie-jeebies. I don't like how they jump, <laughs> or how they look, or their face, or anything about them in general, except maybe their color. It's kind of cool. Candy arcade. It's probably not worth too much to me. But I should check it out regardless, just in case. Okay, we got a bomb beggar. Oof, I don't know. Let's just blow these guys up, I think. That's a lot of money. I mean, that's a lot of money. Have I come across the shop yet? Also, a luck upgrade. I don't believe I've come across the shop yet on this floor. Although Curse of the Lost makes it hard to know for sure. But even if we have, then I'll end up backtracking at some point, because I do want to spend this money in case there's something worthwhile in our uh, in our shop. Like some mapping, or, you know, champion belt, something like that. Mystery gift I'd be fine with. Any number of things, really. <laughs> Technology 2 is kind of like a damage downgrade, I think. I don't know, I'm not feeling it. I gave Technology 1 a chance earlier in this, in this video, and it kind of didn't, I mean, it didn't screw me over. That was one of the runs that actually went further than any of the others, if I remember right. But it didn't really, I, I wasn't feeling it, you know. It didn't feel like a winning run. So I will definitely want to take, hmm, it's actually kind of a tough call. I'm going to take blue map, I think, though, because uh, of the double, because of the fragmented card. So now we'll be able to see all the secret rooms as well as access them, hopefully, if we have enough bombs. About 700 cents there, no milestone or unlock or anything. 704 is fine. Let's go ahead and blow this guy up just in case we can maybe get a little more money in there. We are up past 30 minutes in this video now, so it's do or die. No pressure or anything, but you know. I'm at least glad that we're making some progress on this run instead of just having started it like half a second ago and then just like dying on the like halfway to the first boss or something like that. I do enjoy when we're actually somewhat into a, into a run before it terminates. We'll see though. I mean, this may end up being the farthest that we get in this entire video, because the farthest we've gotten so far is just past like this this boss, basically, literally this boss. It was Monstro on the second floor, and uh, and we wound up fighting Krampus. Not that I need to remind you, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure that's all. That's still very fresh in your memories as well as mine. All right, we gotta deal with the devil here. For the love of God, it, it doesn't have to be like amazing. Just don't be Krampus. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm a little upset, but I'll get over it because it wasn't Krampus. You at least acknowledged my wish in that regard. What do we got? Okay, we got some attack spiders. That's fine. We're actually going down to the caves. What do you know, man? The last run in the video turns out to be the longest. I'm totally fine with that. There's our uh, Curse of the Blind, as well as two secret rooms right in pretty near the start, so that's always a good sign. Also got a bunch of bombs out of this one. Well, I thought that was a stone chest and I was excited, but then I like walked into it and it was like, oh, it just opened. <laughs> well, that's disappointing. You and me against the world, Mr. Leech, Mr. Little Bloodsucking Man. You, me, and Magic Mush. And you know, I guess, uh, I guess Mom's Pearl is kind of here too. But really, ugh, get out of here. <laughs> really, I, uh, I value Fragmented Card, which is a trinket, more than I value Mom's Pearls, which is an item. That's being a little rude, though. Mom's Pearls is not that bad. Luck upgrades are, by and large, pretty good, so... The fact that it's a nested luck upgrade, like it's nested within a different set of upgrades, being range and a third of the mom transformation, is totally fine, I think. So we got something for sale here, which I have enough money to buy it now, so let's give it a whirl. We got remote detonator, which actually gave us five bombs, so it's not too, too bad. But it's really not the spacebar item that's... It's not the spacebar item for me, I'll put it that way. Not for the, that I usually rely on or use that frequently, but, you know. I mean, my experience with remote, remote detonator personally, just in the past, in general, is I'll forget that I have it, 
So I'll put down... Okay. I'm very lucky to have survived that. That was a ridiculous dodge. Just take a moment to appreciate the, the, the leech right there. That is a gaping maw as a doorway to fucking Halloween Town right there. Beautiful. Yeah, see, that's my experience with... I'll forget that I have it, and then I'll put down a bomb, and I'll be like, Man, this bomb's taking a really long time to explode. Oh yeah, I gotta press space, and that's basically how it goes every single time. So, it's really just gonna artificially lengthen the time of this run, so... Be ready for that, I suppose. I hate this room. But as long as I handle it with some caution here... Oh god. I should be... Okay! Ooh... Almost threw me for a loop there, Mr. Leech. That's the thing, is that the Leech can be a little dangerous to me. Just because I, I don't know when he's about to kill one of these enemies. And when they die, obviously, it's a little scary because they fire out a spray of bullets. Oh, that room, it should not have been that bad. I made it out to be a lot worse than it probably realistically should have been. I didn't even go for my item room on this floor, did I? I did not. Well, it's okay. Does Remote Detonator interact interestingly with Chubb in any regard? Or does the bomb still explode on its own when it's inside of him? We can find out here, I guess. Try to, anyway. I guess one way to do it is to just put a bomb on the ground, and then it won't explode because of the Remote Detonator, so you can just wait, or like you can try to like guide Chubb into it. Is, I guess, maybe the way to handle that. Because I think it'll, yeah, it'll still just explode right in his face. Right in his gullet on its own. Which is really the way to handle this fight for me, anyway. Alright, we did get a deal with the devil. Curse of the Blind is a little unfortunate, but that's okay. We got something out of this. So we'll get our deal with the devil precedent at any rate. We got Gimpy. Which is literally worthless except for the precedent. So, I mean, it could be worse, but it could be a lot better as well. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, though. Let's just keep on trucking here and go find our item room before we uh, do anything else. Now, item room, I'm I'm really I'm really putting one out for you here. I need you to like not suck. I don't need you to be great. I need you to be mediocre, at at, at least, and just not be like run destroying because of Curse of the Blind. I've been burned too many times in the past, man. Of course, before anything else can happen, I still need to survive long enough to see the item room. Which, I mean, this uh, this room is putting me up to my, up to that kind of test, I guess. What we got in here? Definitely not worth fighting that. I'd like to check out that curse room, but with no safe way out, there's really not a way to do that. If I find some sort of teleport card, I'll be fine, though. Really, yeah, just, just hang the fuck out away from these guys. I do not want to enter the fray. On this room. He may well shoot they wait they may well shoot me from that distance. I wish I could fire through that guy with uh with spectral tears, but no such luck. He's actually an enemy, not just a rock. He's got a life and feelings and a family, possibly. I mean maybe I mean this is probably just his family in this room, just these other three turrets, but you know, it's something. There's our item room. Don't even have to fight for it. I'm very happy about that. We also have a stone chest, which often contains some of the better items in the game. The better items out of chests, anyway. Didn't get any too much luck this time, but we did get some bombs out of it. Got the D7. Mm, makes it so we can, like, refight rooms to get better rewards. I think I'll keep Remote Detonator. Just because I don't trust myself with the D7, and I'm not going to explore any more than I have to here. Let's just get a move on. I don't really trust myself with the D7, because I'll be like... Like, the way I operate with the D7 a lot of the time, not that I often have it, it seems kind of rare, actually. But it's like, um... I'll see a room that's, like, easy, and it's like, oh yeah, I'll come back and, like, just keep on refighting this room to get, uh... To get more items and stuff, to get more consumables. And that's a fine and dandy strategy with the D7, unless you're playing as the Lost, when even, like, the easiest rooms, if you're not paying close enough attention, can be pretty bad, you know? So, let's not, uh, 
Let's not concern ourselves with the D7. Not that we have a choice anymore, but still. All right, I want to check this out just in case. Ugh, certainly not worth it right now, but if I can find a teleport card, then I may want to check it out. Every time, man. Every time. I just forget remote detonator is a thing. All right, hop on out of here, because I don't want to deal with that. That's fine, whatever. And I can at least do that kind of fancy nonsense with uh, with remote detonator, I guess. Let's go ahead and let's donate some money here. Well, not donate, but give the beggar some funds. Because he could make me have some fun. Well, that's not very fun at all. Well, you know, it's the thought that counts, I guess. Except it totally fucking isn't, and anybody who says that is a straight-up liar. Locust of Conquest is an interesting one, but I think Fragmented Card is still more valuable for us. Unfortunately, did did not have the uh, the ability to make or to buy Mom's purse on the previous floor. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's what you should do. You should just like run towards the enemy that throws bones at you. That's a uh, that's a good idea. <laughs> well, I guess that's that for this video. Again, let me know how you want to. Yeah, minus ten win streak. My God. Let me know how you want me to handle lost runs in the future. If you want me to wait until I get the certain upgrade that makes the lost a little bit easier or a lot a bit easier. Or if you want me to uh, keep trying at this, because it's kind of interesting and uh, fun, question mark? I don't know. It uh, elicits some interesting commentary, at the very least, I would say. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and or comment down below. It really helps out the channel. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more as well. I post a single Isaac video every day at noon mountain time. I shit you or not, I almost said a single lost video every day at noon mountain time. That would be hell itself, and I don't want any part of it. So uh, I'm going to get out of here now. Hope to see you tomorrow for the next one. Have yourselves a good night. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you and good night.